Here we are again with Anche Human and our beautiful walkthrough. Tomorrow, I'll be releasing a video with some really important news about the game, so stay tuned because we'll be discussing everything that's going to happen with the game in the coming months. I have to say, these are truly significant updates that will bring various new aspects to the game itself and its sequel. But for now, let's go talk to Lo. There are the janitor you were talking about, those paper figures. The physical form of the deviation is called Shikigami, a ritual object once used in certain religious ceremonies. But now, once harnessed, it is an industrious and reliable servant. I'm sure you saw what it is capable of already. Indeed, it definitely likes to clean. As I said, this deviation has no malice towards humans and can be an excellent addition to the home. As long as you take care of it, it will do its best to help take care of your home. This deviation genuinely enjoys the more tedious household chores. And that is, in and of itself, priceless. Not unlike a bird with important knowledge. The Digby Boy? The heck is that? It has the appearance of a small metal toy. It is not dangerous, so they say, but it can't be left alone. I think it is a good place to start. My sources tell me it is hidden somewhere in Throughville. Not too far away, but do not delay. There are others in search of such treasures. This little guy seems to be fascinated by metals and ores. If you have some copper ore, Perfect. Now let's start by discovering what the Digby Boy is. So, let's get moving, call our beloved ride, and let's speed out of here. Oh, here we are after our relaxing motorcycle ride. Let's gracefully park it right here and let's kill some monsters on our way to the objective. In this area, we also have another mission to complete, so let's head over to it, grab what we need, and then find our Digby. We also found another page of the field guide called Groundbreaking Advances in Stardust Research. We're only two pages away from completing this guide. Awesome! We've completed the mission, so now let's head to the next one. Let's avoid everything and head straight up, and here it is. Let's see what it asks of us. Lou wasn't kidding. Ah, darn creeps. it. He's the one who needed the mining materials, and I didn't bring any with me. How silly of me. Now I have to go get them. Ugh. Let's do something else instead. I think I saw a mission near home. Okay, I was right. We do have a mission near our home. Let's head over there.
It often feels like the distances are endless, but in reality, it only takes a second to reach some cities. Doesn't it seem weird that you can't just jump over this low wall? I've cleared much higher ones before. This has to be a hidden mini game. Those statues look too strange, just like the doors we found before. Let's investigate and see if we can find the combination. Okay, it's not working with the faces facing outward, but look at these pushy monsters attacking me for no reason. Can't they wait their turn? Alright, now that the annoying ones are dealt with, let's try turning all the statues with their faces inward. Maybe that's the combination. If not, we'll try other methods. Wait a minute, weren't they already facing the right way before? The monsters distracted me. Let's try it like that again. Hooray! See, I was right. We just needed to make each one face a corner without any of them looking at each other. Let's grab our reward and head inside the church to see what needs to be done. But I really want to take down this monster. Let's go. Get ready to fight. rushing into fights like this, especially since dodging that attack should be really easy with the right timing. Anyway, let's get back up and use that adrenaline to our advantage. Burn and die, you and the disgusting stuff you spew. The sound of the maze hitting is really something. So satisfying, almost like ASMR. Okay, we found who we needed, but they seem very dead as Andy. There's a letter with them. Let's read it. I'm gonna save him. By Korak Raman, please look after Andy for me. He is din the early stages of corrosion, and his condition is very unstable. There are too many deviants out there, so be extra careful. The church so be safe for now. On my way, I heard from passing Mayfly that there is a rift entity in the monolith to the northeast, and the source there can heal those afflicted by the corrosion. What an incredible power. We've also found the mystical creature from Brookham, so good with 40 camping knife. Alright, let's start that other mission I spotted at the edge of the city near my home. Everything here is wrapped up.
Perfect, let's head out. But first, let's check how much fuel our motorcycle has. After calling it with G next to it, we can see the fuel level and decide if we need to refuel or not. To activate this task, we just needed to reach this point. Now, we probably need to explore various locations and collect some items. Pretty straightforward and perfect, especially since we haven't fully explored this city yet, even though our house is so close. Yes, we need to collect the advanced books and then head to the church. Great, let's not waste any time. Swift as the wind, let's grab them and take down everything in our path. Here we find the second page of the field guide for this city, titled Looming Upheaval. The other book is in this bus station. It's also very noticeable since it's highlighted in purple, so it's hard to miss. Let's see if we find anything interesting here. Oh no, I always risk dying with these things. I think those flies do less damage and I ignore them, but they actually cause a lot of harm. Let's clear the plaza of these monsters and continue. It's never wise to leave anything alive that might hit us from behind. Is it just me who accidentally hits B and enters build mode? It might be due to the keyboard's key triggers. Let's check out this building. Doesn't it remind you a lot of American motels or anime apartment complexes? I love this kind of architecture because it always brings back such wonderful memories. First floor completed. Nothing interesting, just some loot. Let's head down. Okay, here you can find another page of the field guide titled Those Weirdos. Quite a fantastic title, I must say. Sometimes these crates look like they should open, but they don't. Another interesting aspect of the game is that some loot crates respawn, like the one we have in front of us that I already looted. However, others, like the mystical Create, do not respawn. Inside this house, we found the fourth advanced book we need.
Don't throw your nasty gunk at me, you evil monsters. Got the fourth book as well. And the last book is right inside the church. Easy find. We've arrived, let's go inside, and there it is, the last advanced book. Uh-oh, we need to perform a ceremony at the church altar. That sounds pretty eerie. And where did you come from? Let me handle this slightly blasphemous task. And let's pray too. Oh my gosh. But hey, we've reached level 13. Woohoo. For now, that's the end of this episode. See you next time in this amazing game and walkthrough. As always, thank you for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave a like and a comment, and if you haven't already, activate the notification bell for updates on my videos.